I was inspired to shoot today's video because I saw a headline from my alma mater, the University of Pennsylvania, that showed that there is a massive connection between your oral health and your cardiovascular health. And we want to live long, healthy lives. And we also intuitively know that this body is a connected organism. All these systems are constantly interplaying. And what they actually found is people with gingival inflammation, the inflammation from those bacteria that live around our gums, have a much higher incidence of hypertension and cardiovascular disease. And they actually found the same exact bacteria that live in our gums and cause the inflammation in our gums in the plaque inside people's hearts. And what they suspect is that the inflammation, when those bacteria are causing the gums and that gingivitis, those bacteria can actually get into circulation. And when they're in circulation, they're right here, right around the heart, right around the brain. And they can actually get into that plaque, create additional inflammation, and they're laid down and it causes hardening. So there's a complete connection between if you have gingival inflammation and heart disease. And they've also made this connection between Alzheimer's. When they look at people who have Alzheimer's and these kind of beta amyloid plaques in the brain, they're also finding the same connection. And this is a really widespread issue. They did some studies from the Centers of Disease Control in the United States and they found that 50% of people aged 30 to 65 have some degree of gingival inflammation. They're not taking care of their gums in a very good way. And over 65, that number increases to 70%. So chances are you might actually have this process happening right now. You have low grade inflammation in your mouth and it's ended up going to show up in your vascular system and heart disease is the number one killer. So this connection is super strong. So it gets deeper than this. There are actually some bacteria in the back of your mouth. They live on the back of your tongue and these particular kind of bacteria actually produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the nitrogen and an oxygen bound together. And this is one of the most important gases in your entire body. Nitric oxide actually increases our circulation. It's antimicrobial in some places. It really just helps us have greater overall functioning and energy. And as we age, we have a natural decrease in nitric oxide. And people who exercise regularly, eat a good diet full of lots of dark green leafy vegetables, have higher levels of nitric oxide. We want as much of this as possible in a natural source. So, what they found is people who actually use mouthwash on a regular basis are killing their nitric oxide bacteria. Use mouthwash once, it kills all the bacteria in the back of your tongue that produce nitric oxide for you for over 12 hours. And you do that consistently day in, day out, you're having lower nitric oxide levels, which means higher levels of hypertension and high blood pressure. And there is a researcher I interviewed for our Fit Father and Fit Mother podcast. I'll link the full episode below in the show notes. His name's Dr. Nathan Bryan. And he actually took healthy people into his lab have healthy athletes who have good nitric oxide production, who have no amount of hypertension or high blood pressure, and he had them use mouthwash every single day for a span of two weeks, and he was able to induce hypertension in these people without any other changes. Just killing their nitric oxide bacteria gave them high blood pressure. And after a week of stopping the mouthwash, their bacterial populations came back and their blood pressure went back down. So this connection is strong. We're trying to do things to really help improve our oral health. We're taking all the antiseptic mouthwashes and fluoridated toothpaste and stuff like that. We're actually killing the good guys and we're not actually dressing the gingival area around the gums that is a really big problem because it's so easy to just brush your teeth and scrub like the teeth aspect, the bone aspect. We're not getting into the gums. So a practical tip I have for you to improve your oral health is to get yourself something called a water pick. So here is a water pick. It's a little device that you can fill up with water and you can even put a little bit of salt in that water too if you wanna have a better antiseptic effect that doesn't actually harm those nitric oxide bacteria. And it shoots the water out with this little pick. And this is a game changer because we all know hearing how important flossing is and that flossing is more important than brushing. Well, I think the water pick is even better because you just fill it up with water and you can trace that gum line and blast that nice water to really get into that whole gum line. If you have recession right now, if your gums bleed when you floss so you brush, there is more that you can do with your oral health. And if you improve your oral health, you're gonna improve your cardiovascular health in turn because these things are so connected. And we know inflammation is at the root of all chronic disease. And this is low grade inflammation living in your mouth constantly that's naturally gonna harm your cardiovascular system. And when the cardiovascular system's harmed, the brain is harmed. And when the brain is harmed, your quality of life is harmed. So this is connected. What I personally do, water pick. I use that at night. In the morning, when I brush my teeth and I also brush my teeth after eating very sugary foods and also at night. So if I eat like a lot of fruit or something like that, I will make sure I wash and rinse and get the sugar out so it's not sitting there. And I use the water pick. I also personally don't use a toothpaste with fluoride. 
especially after I had that conversation with Dr. Nathan Bryan. He also found that the fluoride itself can be very harmful for some of these populations. Now, up to you if you want to do that. Fluoride has some benefits for the teeth in the enamel, but it does cause pressure on some of those good beneficial bacteria. And the truth is I haven't used fluoridated toothpaste for over 20 years. Teeth are good. I've never had a cavity. So there's some brands that could work for you are Himalaya Boutique or Botanicals. I'll throw a link in the description as well as Tom's. They have fluoride free options. You could explore if you'd like. But overall, I just want you to really understand this connection. If you improve your gum health, you're gonna improve your heart health. When you improve your heart health, you improve your overall health. Hope you found this valuable, my friend. And if you like this, kind of offbeat health topics as well as stuff on nutrition, exercise, mindset, all these things to help you stay strong and healthy for your family, please subscribe to our Fit Father and Fit Mother Project YouTube channels. We have over 500 different videos. And give this a thumbs up if you found this interesting. You want more people to hear about this amazing connection between the mouth and the heart. I'll see you in future videos, my friend. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. I'll talk to you very soon.